When most people think about introversion plus business, they think that it's automatically a failure because a lot of many business practices have to do with selling yourself, selling your products, and putting yourself out there essentially. But I think that that is far from the truth. Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't seen my face before, hi, my name is Kanoi. And on this channel, I talk about small businesses, work from home, introversion, and other fun stuff that I feel like posting. <laughs> if you're interested in this kind of content, go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the post notification so you don't miss any future uploads from me. In today's video, I am basically going to be covering 10 mindset tips for introverts looking to be business owners. I remember I remember when I started my first business, I was so scared of the fact that I would be put out there to the point where people could pick me apart and kind of just like that idea alone scared the crap out of me. But over the years, I've started to really understand how business works and business is something that I feel like I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. And a lot of aspects I do agree have to do with being an extrovert and kind of putting yourself out there to network to meet new people but there's a part of business that a lot of people don't understand and that a lot of extroverts cannot tap into that a lot of introverts can and i personally feel like introverts can thrive the most within any type of business setting if they put their minds to it and if you are like me and you hate phone calls you hate meeting people in person you hate doing all of these things it's good to switch your mindset to these 10 tips that i'm going to be uh, talking about because it's going to ultimately help you in growing and scaling a successful business in the end. So let's talk about tip number one. You need to embrace the fact that you are an introvert. I know. What does that mean? It basically means that you have your own individual strengths that not a lot of people have. So let's say you have a skill set that a lot of people don't have, like copywriting or creating videos or editing. These are skill sets that are specifically catered towards introvert most writers especially writers in agencies or writers that are ultimately business owners they are at home writing on their computer same goes with editors and people that make videos like this of course there's different subsections of each of these things that i'm trying to explain but ultimately at the end of the day to publish that post to publish your editing, to send out your editing, you have to be at home on your computer. You have to be by yourself. You're not gonna be at a party where people are drinking and like socializing and you're doing your work. Like that's not a normal scenario. And it doesn't even have to be your skill set as well. It could just be the type of person that you are as an introvert. A lot of introverts are very reflective and we're amazing listeners. We're good at tapping into the conversation without having to say a word we understand everything the person is saying even if we don't like it sometimes we still listen and we can still understand whereas more outgoing extroverted personality types they don't really pay attention to things like that or when they do it has to be of sort of significance for them if that makes sense so when you embrace that part of yourself, you will be able to connect with your target audience, with your customers, with the people around you more on a personal level. And that is very valuable to most people. Moving on to tip number two is to play into your strength as an introvert. I don't mean to brag, but introverts are really good at researching. We're really good at planning. We're really good at getting shit done. We're really good at organization. A a lot of the finer details and day-by-day -day tasks that need to be done in order to fulfill our goals we ultimately master but the thing is some of us are in this state of limbo where we know exactly what we need to do but we're just nervous of the outcome of it and i'm here to tell you that it shouldn't matter because all of those thoughts all of those negative thoughts of negative outcomes these are all coming from you you are ultimately fighting yourself in that moment so one thing that i do to kind of avoid this is to distract myself or to kind of point out that thought and let myself know that you're wrong you're wrong and i'm going to keep doing this and it doesn't matter the outcome because ultimately i'm smart enough 
to find a solution and work my way around it. Now with that said, just because you are an introvert doesn't mean that you can't do things that extroverts do and that leads to tip number three, which is to build a strong support and a strong network. Most business models that expect you to be successful in the beginning are very extroverted business models you have to sell yourself you have to sell your products a lot of introverts find this scary because you're starting out by yourself and the idea of networking with other people especially if you are trying to sell a service as a business scares the shit out of you and i'm here to tell you that there is nothing to be scared of that mindset alone stems from feeling inferior to the people around you because of what you have accomplished and comparing it to them and what i'm here to say is that you need to start thinking like you are an equal to people you need to start thinking that you're not inferior but you're also not superior because that comes with a lot of egocentric ideas and thoughts and it comes out of your mouth and people kind of get that sour taste in their mouth when they talk to you so you just need to learn to be yourself but in a setting where you know that just because the guy that's talking to you is making a million dollars more than you doesn't mean that he's better than you you are talking to them as a regular person like it's it's hard to explain but if you do end up networking and putting yourself out there having this mindset is very vital especially when you're on sales calls yes i said it sales calls because if you are starting out a service-based business by yourself you're gonna need to call people and you're gonna need to talk to people you need to be the expert in the situation you need to be the person that that's there to help ultimately but also don't make it seem like you are the employee because there is a sort of conversational tone and um, way to word things towards somebody to make them think that oh I can take advantage of this person because they think that they're more inferior than me which is a no-no you want to be able to put your best foot forward and really get yourself out there and really explain and understand and use that good listening skills to understand the person that you're trying to help and their business without having to say a lot during the call. You're just asking questions, listening, asking more questions, listening, and coming up with a solution while they're saying all of this stuff and from there you obviously know where the conversation is going to go you just need to put yourself in that type of position where you view the person that you're talking to as an equal and it's a conversation it is not a sales call and this will ultimately allow you to be able to get clients that respect you and have other people in their network that they will be able to refer you to word of mouth spreads fast and it works with any other type of business model it doesn't matter if you're selling a product if you post enough tiktok videos a month for your product and reply to the comments people will tell their mother their grandmother their dog their neighbor's dog they will tell Tell everybody about your product if it's something that solves their problem moving on to step number four and that is to utilize online platforms as much as you can I don't know anybody that does manual pen to paper business anymore if you do why I genuinely want to know why because that is very interesting to me but a lot of the businesses nowadays it's 2023 are all conducted online so you want to utilize all of these platforms and all of these online spaces to be able to promote yourself or your product or whatever it is that you're selling as much as possible and like i said if this is something that you're an expert in it's gonna be a piece of cake because you can showcase that expertise give people free content free things that they can take apart and use and implement on themselves or in their lives and when they see results they can be like oh yeah this is the person that i learned it from so once you have that online platform that you can really take advantage of when it comes to your business model and your values it's going to take off 
but it does take consistency as well. Moving on to tip number five, and that is to learn as much as possible from the person that you want to be in the future. If you have the opportunity to get a mentor, good on you, get a mentor, learn from them as much as possible. But if you are in a position where you barely leave the house and all you have is YouTube, YouTube is all you need. A lot of thought leaders, especially in the niche and the space and the type of business that you want to achieve are posting free content on YouTube every single day. And all you have to do is just a simple search and you'll be on there, but make sure to absorb as much as you can and implement it and then keep absorbing and keep implementing it. Because if you just sit there and absorb and plan and kind of go over each idea and each single detail, you are going to be in a perfectionist mindset, which is horrible. You want to be able to just start, even if it's a crappy start, just do it because these are skills that nowadays people in the digital age especially um, older business owners that have established good um, business practices they don't know anything about the internet they don't know how to move this to the internet and if you have a skill that can help them with that then you are more valuable to them and if you can learn that as soon as possible and implement it in your life as soon as possible, then you'll be able to make the mistakes you need to make to grow and to be the expert in your field. Moving on to tip number six, and that is to develop communication skills. Now I know some of you out there, English is not your first language and that is completely fine. That is not what I mean by developing communication skills. What I mean by developing communication skills is to be able to iterate your thoughts to others, especially if it is a business that you're working with or a client or um, your customers to iterate the specifics of your expertise, your product, whatever it is that you're selling in a way where they can understand it. So looking up videos of public speaking or working on a presentation, you don't even have to present it to anybody. You can create it for yourself and kind of go over it yourself and kind of practice talking to yourself as though you would talk to a regular person without any of the details, the fine details, if that makes sense. Really studying the way that public speaking speakers talk in their presentations and how negotiators talk on different sales calls. In different situations, it gives you an idea of how communication in the real world is received by different people. And if you have customers, if you have a product that customers are buying from you, you can tell by the way that they comment on your posts how they communicate with you and you can kind of understand how to give them a solution in the way that they will understand. Moving on to tip number seven and that is to delegate your tasks strategically. When you are at that point in your business where you are at the brink of burnout, you will want to hire people on to be able to help you with the bulk load of the work that you've been doing every single day. And once that comes into effect as an introvert, it feels like a big weight is lifted off your shoulders because you have somebody out there that's going to help you with majority of the things that you need help with. And one thing that you have to learn is to learn how to delegate these things to them properly in a way that they will understand and in a way where they will be able to perform their best based off of uh, your mentorship. So surrounding yourself with team members that align with you and that their values align with you is a great way to be able to build a successful business because they understand how you are as a person and you understand how they are and you can play at each other's strengths and how you can use that to be able to scale it to a higher level. Moving on to tip number eight and that is to value and make sure that you have your alone time. That's something that is very invaluable to us. We need that in our lives. So 
once you get to that point where you are scaling your business the way that you want to and you want to be able to have that alone time schedule it and take it even if it is you know going traveling to different places as long as you have that time to yourself that is something that you 100 need to have in your life even if your business isn't as successful as you need it to be if you are at that point where you're like okay i need to take a break i'm at the brink of burnout take that alone time to yourself there is nobody monitoring your um activities and saying no you can't do that because you didn't accomplish this this and that you are the one that's making the rules and if you decide that i am tired and i need to take a break then take that break you should not feel guilty for taking that time to yourself because at the end of the day this is your business this is your life and you are your own person and if you feel that you need to take that time alone then do it and make sure you enjoy it and don't think about anything else moving on to tip number nine and that is to utilize online business models as much as you can like i said introverts we hate talking to people if you are in a service-based business and you're an introvert and you like talking to people good for you but most of us we don't like talking to people and a lot of the things that we know a lot of people are looking for and a lot of people want to learn and that is where all of these online business models come in they're automated and they can work for you behind the scenes so there are a bunch of online business models that you can utilize like e-commerce drop shipping uh, you can create an online course an ebook um, you can start a digital product business all of these things don't require you to talk to people until you are at that point where your business is booming and people have questions and things like this take time to generate but i guarantee you once they start picking up momentum Momentum, it'll be like a snowball effect and I'm pretty sure that you know this but introverts thrive in remote spaces in remote work communities we do it's just it's just the best working remote is just the best to introverts we don't want to be out there socializing with people we would rather be behind a screen doing what we do best and getting paid for it moving on to my last tip and that is to prioritize your self-development when you are an introverted business owner especially if you are just starting your business you want to be able to have a version of yourself in your head every single day that you will be implementing every single thing in your life every single action you do should be an action that this person would do today so for example if you're just starting an online business and the person that you want to be is somebody that works four hour work weeks that gets to spend time with their family that has fully automated their business to that point and they are just living their best life what how would that person conduct themselves today and how would they be able to get themselves to that point if they were just starting out that is how you need to live your everyday life until you get to that point because trust me once you have that idea of yourself in your head that person already exists you just need to get to that person and to get to that person you need to start acting like that person so one thing that i want you to remember is that being an introverted business owner is not a hindrance because there are a lot of strengths that introverts have and if you learn to play into that and if you learn to utilize that in your business and to be able to make yourself successful through that is the ultimate win so this is something that you should be proud of and this is something that you should be able to do for yourself so that concludes today's video of 10 business mindset tips for introverts i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys have anything else to add go ahead and leave a comment down below in order to be featured in my next video with that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll go ahead and see you guys next time